Hey friends, we'll be back into this new video tutorial with OSP Pro. In this video, we will be working with you on how to create up your own database table and receive it for work. I'm Zahir, like I said, I just going to use some few things. I'm going to be using that, a float. I'm going to be using a version and maybe timestamp for now in this video. So let me just take you straight on how to get started with that. So we shall simply say create. But what's first of which database are we about creating? We're creating up users table. We get users table. So what is comprised in users table? We need to get user oh, one as user, maybe user ID. You get now for simplicity in this video, I'm just going to use ID because I don't want you guys to get lost. And you'll need to track the first name and maybe last name, last name, and maybe uh, also date, Greg. Date reg means in this time around, which day do they happen to register up for that given program or for the given course or for the given stuff? I don't know what we are looking at at the moment. We are doing on date day reg. But if you really look on check on do my systems and you cross check, you will discover that I'm not using timestamp. I'm using something advanced a little bit compared to that. But that's not the big point now at the moment. If I just show you in the products, you'll discover that inside where I said uh, a product date added i'm actually not using that i'm actually using i get streams i think you can see i'm using a stream instead of storing date now those are some of the things i say you guys need to take things slow so that you can get what you need now let me just check it back here and just create with a table so let me simply say create table and it's not a scene you can even use small letters you can mix there's no problem in my square create table give a table name maybe table is called users you get so you can always open up there or you can just press enter it will be upon you uh, okay now since I'm using this kind of stuff uh, one thing you have to know whenever you're using up uh, creatable users whenever you're using up something like this uh, whenever you're using up uh, page might mean you can always create two because although I press enter there there's no scene but if you're using ZAMP shell please don't do that you know get an error the first thing is to talk about ID, which is going to be end, and here we specifically talk about that in a format of something called. If you say one multiply, you can store one person to nine people. Uh, if you store say ten, it implies. Uh, sorry, if you say two, it can store from one person to ninety-nine. If you say three, it can store one to nine hundred ninety-nine. If you say four, it can store one to nine nine thousand nine hundred ninety-nine. Uh, but if you say eleven, that implies in a simple term. Uh, that implies in simple time they can store right what I mean being left 99 billion 999 million 999,999 that's it so I always like to use that so I hope to go with you then here's not now not now and I also like to use auto auto increment get okay? also like to use auto increment there then down here I used to have this so you can break this like this so that you guys you <laughs> shake onto my cards our organized is so this is for here and this is the closing for it then here down i also need to talk about f name so f name is always going to be a version and i remember explaining to you a version that a version single character if you say one plus can only talk of one character if you say two it can only store two characters but i remember explaining to you in the other video that it actually stores from one to nine or two hundred and nine fifty five so I'm going to put in a gift or maybe a hundred. It implies in a simple time you can store more people. And then on the other way around, I also can also talk about that error name to be a version. And I'm also going to talk about maybe I give it a hundred and also say not null. That implies it is a must. Someone has to give me his or her what known as a last name. Then we can also talk about something called reg underscore reg. Date reg. The date in which that person happened to register. And you can always give it as time. Timestamp. Timestamp means in a simple term, uh, we don't need, uh, oh, I expect someone, the system to add for me that automatically. So it will be updating on the current date or current time. Okay. Then I also need to make something primary key. In the programming, we always talk about primary key. And primary key is only to make something called unique features into that given database. 
you get there's no database without having primary key and where whenever to use the primary key we use primary key on something that we expect it to increment something that's going to be either an integer that's what thing i want you guys to know two that first thing should be automated or it may not be automated but it can be automated in future time like for instance registration number like for instance the id number can be automated it can add on one to what already exists so we don't need to do it by ourselves the system should be doing it that for us so in a simple time if that's the case then on the other way around our primary key is going to be id primary key and there like i've said primary key i'm going to be using id and this time around is going to be that id of ours which is this id then on the other way around that's how you write this stuff so that implies you have three fields we have first name last name and date rate and then if i hold the control with enter we should find the query okay Popo, so let me check that hold the control with enter don't know why sorry sorry it's telling me uh not now i think we blah blah your press query check the manual correspond to your maria db uh unique server for the near that uh primary key that we check that sorry i have this problem there let me check that now i have a comment in between here it's turning to okay let me check that now so i have to come back down here check that again let me try to move this off because getting confused with my stuff so this is it so if you do that Line six primary key. We try to first organize this very well. Of course, that's it. That's opening. This is the closing because this ID that's it. So, oh, so I have to move this. Try to move that. Stamp. Uh, try to move that. Try to just move that off is okay with us um, that's it so i had made a mistake i had moved put this in two quotes yet was not carrying any perimeter i'm sorry for that but that's it that's how they do that so in a simple time if you go back in here and try to check on your table you should be having table so if i simply say maybe uh, show uh, show tables you don't just say table but show tables if i hold control that we should get one table say tables inside youtube we have one table called users so in a simple term my friend that's how you create tables and if you also go underneath here and try to click there you should find so far we have one table so next the video i'm going to be showing how to describe this table what if you're going to be working in a given organization tomorrow how do you describe a table how do you get to know a table we need to learn how to describe that given table on the next video stay tuned on next video i'm going to be working with you guys on how to describe a table using my skills so guys stay tuned and i hope we wish you to see you next time thank you guys love you